Hello and welcome to Security Analytics and Open Search. Today I'm going to show you some different use cases using our Security Analytics Detector and custom rules configured for your business needs to monitor and detect any event. In this first use case, we'll take a look at how we can set up a rule and detector configuration to monitor external sharing in order to protect and ensure the privacy of your sensitive data. To begin, we'll be writing a custom rule that monitors whenever a Google Drive file is shared to an external domain. However, we'll also be including a list of approved domains that do not need to be monitored. So to begin, we'll be creating our custom rule with the rule name Monitor External Sharing. We'll then set the author as John Doe, the log type as Google Workspace log type, and rule level as critical. So first we'll be specifying in this rule the event name as the key and drive.file.share as a value. This means that a Google Drive file was shared. Next, we'll be setting sharing with domain as the key and we'll import a text file of a list of domains as a value. These values specify the list of approved domains that are allowed to be shared externally to and do not need to be monitored. Then we'll want to specify condition. So we'll be selecting selection one and not selection two because these are our approved domains. You can set tags, references, and false positive cases according to your use case, but for now we will be skipping those. And there you go, your custom rule is configured. Next, we wanna set up our detector with this newly configured custom rule. First, we'll create the Google Workspace index. Then we'll create the detector using the interface. We'll name our detector monitor external. Then we'll point our data source to the index we just created. Then we'll choose our log type as Google Workspace. Finally, we'll include the rule we just created, which should be here at the top called monitor external sharing. And here are our field mappings for our rule. Next, we'll specify a trigger condition and call it trigger all. Then we'll set the notification channel to a channel I've already created called channel one. And we can also notify a different channel using a new trigger I'll call trigger two. And we can set this channel as channel two. And there you have it, a newly created security analytics detector. Now we'll go back and insert a test document into our Google Workspace index to generate a finding. Here I have a document with fields that will match the rule we configured. Once I insert this, we'll be able to see a finding generated in a minute. Okay, so here we are with our finding and our finding ID. We can see here that the finding was generated with our custom rule as well as the document that generated our finding. We'll now take a look at the second use case. Say we want to detect a suspicious login to an admin console by someone that is not authorized and in our specific set of users that have permission. Similarly to the first use case, we'll first create a rule called login to admin console. We'll then set the author as John Doe, the log type as a Windows log type, and the rule level as critical. Next, we'll set the selection key field to be user name and then we'll insert another text file with a list of authorized users. Next, we'll create a new selection with the key logon type and we'll set the value to two. This means that a login has occurred and the value two means that the login is to the console. Then we want the condition to be not selection one. So if it's not an authorized user and selection two, which specifies that the event is logging into the console. With these two conditions, then we want to generate a finding. Again, you can set tags, references, and false positive cases according to your use case, but for now, we will be skipping those. And there you go, your custom rule is configured. We'll be following similar steps to the first use case to configure our detector. We'll be creating the index here and then creating the detector in the interface. We'll first name our detector login to console. Then we'll point our data source to the index we just created. Then we'll choose our log type as a Windows log type. And finally, we'll include the rule we just created, which should be here at the top called login to admin console. 
And here are our field mappings for our rule. Next, we'll want to specify a trigger condition and call it trigger all. Then we'll set the notification channel to a channel I've already created called channel one. And then we can notify a different channel using a new trigger I'll call trigger two. And I'll set this channel as channel two. And there you have it, a newly created security analytics detector. Now we'll go back again and insert a new test document into our index to generate a finding. This test document has winlog.user.name as user0 at example.com, where user0 is not in our list of authorized users. And it also has the logon type as 2, meaning that someone logged into the console. Because this document matches our rule, we should see a finding generated in a minute. Okay, so here we are with our finding and our finding ID. We can see here that the finding was generated with our new custom rule, as well as the document that generated our finding. And there you go, two use cases using custom rules to configure a security analytics detectors for all your business needs.